Congratulations on your selection of Detecto's model IB600 Waymobile electronic in-bed scale for weighing bed-bound, frail, or intensive care patients. The IB600 weighs patients up to 600 pounds and should be unpacked and assembled by a skilled maintenance person in a spacious area of the clinical facility, such as the receiving or maintenance department. After receiving and uncrating the IB600 from its outer container, you're ready to unpack the unit from its inner crate, assemble, and use it. Be sure to check for any parts that may have been damaged in shipping and report them to the carrier. Unpacking and setting up the IB600 is simple. It comes virtually assembled. All that you need for the task are a pocket knife, crowbar, hammer, and screwdriver. First, with the use of a pocket knife, carefully remove the protective plastic from around the crate. Next, with the crowbar, pry the diagonal brace board from the end of the crate. Then, the stabilizing boards behind the unit's back wheels. An important note, save boards as they are removed, along with the shipping crates and packing materials in case the unit has to be returned to the factory within the first two to three weeks after receipt. Now you can remove the center horizontal bracing board over the legs of the scale. This board is firmly nailed in between two vertical boards. Begin by pulling out the two nails on each side of the wooden container to loosen it first. It may take several taps of the hammer to pry it away from the first vertical board. At that point, it can easily be pulled away from the other vertical board. Also, remove the small parts box that is packed securely under the scale and set it aside. It contains the folded up patient stretcher. We will deal with this later. Next, to free the unit from the sides of the crate, cut the plastic strapping that holds the stretcher hoops in place. Unlock the parking brakes on each wheel so the unit is free to roll. Now you can carefully roll the IB600 unit out of the crate by pulling on the handles and lifting over the retaining board at the base of the crate. Make sure the wheels are unlocked as you try to roll the unit free. Now that the scale is out of the crate, you still have one more item to remove, the slates that later will form the sides of the patient's stretcher. Simply cut the strapping that holds these straps to the diagonal brace board on the side of the crate. Set them aside for later assembly of the stretcher. Once again, be sure to save the crate, boards, and packing material for a while until you are sure the scale is operating properly and there is no need to return the scale to the factory. Now it's time to open the small box that was set aside earlier. Open carefully with a pocket knife. Inside you will see the patient's stretcher. To begin assembly of the patient's stretcher, lay the slats out parallel to each other. Unwrap the stretcher from its plastic wrap, unfold and lay flat, making sure that the seam side is down. This stretcher is made of flame retardant antibacterial staff check for patient safety. The stretcher should only be wiped clean using warm soapy water and or a mild detergent then allowed to air dry. Do not attempt to machine wash or dry this material. Now, find the end of the channel on each side of the stretcher that has a Velcro closure. Pull each one open and insert the metal slat through the channel paying attention to alignment of each slat. The slat should be positioned so that the narrower edge of metal goes toward the outside of the channel. The wider edge of the metal should be towards the inner edge of the channel. The holes in the slat should line up with the holes in the channel when properly fitted. This will enable the operator to attach the stretcher to the stretcher hoops with ease when weighing patients. Fold the long ends of the stretcher together to facilitate carrying. As demonstrated here, attach the stretcher to hoops to ensure that assembly has been done correctly. Remove the same way with the long ends together, roll up the stretcher and place it in the specially designed cup at the bottom of the scale for transport. Secure the stretcher with the Velcro straps provided. Now for the simple assembly of the indicator. The IB600 is equipped with Detecto 758C Digital Weight Indicator. Remove from the IB600 by pressing the latch release on the underside of the indicator. Remove the plastic and the instruction manual from the indicator and place the unit face down. You are now ready to install six C-size batteries if you wish to run the indicator on batteries. The 758C can also operate on an optional AC adapter. Remove the battery panel on the back of the indicator and install the six batteries. Replace the battery panel and tighten the thumb screws. Now, attach the coiled cable with screws provided in the connector. The scale's load cell is now connected to the electronic indicator. Reattach the indicator to the scale by aligning the screws on the back of the indicator with the holes of the bracket mount on the scale. You should hear a definite snap as the unit seats itself in place. Make sure that the coil is positioned on the left side of the column as you are facing the indicator. Also note that a durable laminated instruction sheet is meant to hang from the scale by a chain at all times for instant operator reference. Please note that before using this equipment, you should read and understand the operator's manual for proper operation and safety. Detecto's digital health care scales feature the 758C weight indicator, a precision full featured instrument with selectable units, automatic display lock, push button and keypad tear, selectable key lockout, ID storage and serial connectivity. 
This video will explain these functions and show you why the 758C indicator is the perfect choice for scales in hospitals, doctor's offices, weight loss clinics, long-term care facilities, or anywhere accurate weight is required. As you will soon find out, one of the great features of the 758C is that with all of the incredibly diverse functions it is capable of performing, it can also be used very easily for basic weighing without any learning curve. To begin, turn the power on, making sure the scale platform is clear. The 758C indicator will go through its opening sequence. It will power up to zero if that function is enabled. If it does not power up to zero, as we'll illustrate here, simply push the zero key. For weighing only use, the yellow quick keys on the left side of the 758C provide fast, easy operation even by first-time users. These keys may be all that you need for basic weighing and are highlighted in yellow to find easily. To toggle units from pounds to kilograms, push the units key. To return to pounds, simply push the units key again. The third yellow quick key is lock release, which is used to lock and unlock the display. With the patient on the scale and a stable indication, press the lock release key. The lock indicator will come on, shown here, and the patient has stepped off the scale but the weight is locked in. Pressing the key a second time will unlock the display and return the weight display to zero. Push button tear operation without a known tear weight is a simple two button process. The object being teared is placed on the scale, whether it's a walker, wheelchair, or whatever is being teared. Press the tear key twice. The indicator will display zero net. Then remove the wheelchair or walker and return to the scale with the patient to be weighed. The patient and the tear weight can now be weighed on the scale and the net weight is displayed on the indicator. This is the weight of the patient only. As illustrated here, you can press the gross key to show the gross weight also and press it again to toggle back and forth between gross weight and net weight. The patient and the object being teared are now removed from the scale and the display returns to zero. Press the gross key again and it will show the tear weight. For keypad tear with a known tear weight, place the patient and the wheelchair on the scale and press the tear key once to enter tear mode. Using the numeric keys, type in the tear weight and press the enter key. In this case, the wheelchair weighs 25 pounds. The indicator will enter net mode displaying the weight of the patient only, 204.6 pounds. Remove the patient and the wheelchair or walker. The indicator will display a negative net weight. Press the gross key to return to normal weigh mode. The 758C indicator can calculate body mass index for you. Body mass index measurements have been shown to be an accurate estimate of health risk when used as part of a comprehensive health assessment. The 758C quickly calculates BMI by simply entering the patient's height while weighing. To factor BMI, a patient should be weighed on the scale. Then press the ID height key. It will